All right, first things first. Big shout out to our accommodation this morning where we ordered egg and paratha for breakfast, which if you ask me is the best breakfast in Pakistan. Simple, nutritious, and delicious. But the owner of our accommodation says, if you want, I'll give you something free, a little sampler of some homemade Korean kimchi. Paratha and kimchi. <laughs> It's good. It's very good. Mm -hmm. Sour, kind of spicy, crunchy. Nice. Very nice. Yeah, you man. have it. My understanding is kimchi is really healthy for you and the people in northern Pakistan are some of the longest living people on earth because of the apricot oil and the walnut oil. I'm imagining if you add kimchi into that mix, these people are going to live for 700 years or something. <laughs> and speaking of 700 years, today we're going to Baltit Fort, a 700 year old fort which is beautifully as well as strategically located on top of the hill here in Hunza as a defense but also a beautiful fortress. excited for this. I will say the walk here has been pretty incredible. Some yes. of the houses along the way are sort of setting the table for something epic. It's Amazing. a steep incline. I'm out of breath, pardon me. I was an athlete at one point in my life, <laughs> but um, the incline and all the way up and all the stone and rock structures looking awesome. Very excited for this. Amazing, amazing little village here. Very peaceful. <sighs> so with that, let's go check out Baltit Fort. Let's go. This is so cool, Steve. <laughs> this house. Looks like a fort, huh? Yeah. It's <laughs> a house fort. There's a tunnel underneath. Come on. <laughs> oh. Oh. I'm tired already. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Good I think we're almost there. Yeah. Oh. All right, bolt it for, so 1200 rupees per foreigner entrance fee, and it came with a tour guide. So we've actually already came through here, did the entire tour, left out the back door, now we're coming again ourselves to make the video. So here we are in the reception hall and tax collector room. Now taxes back in the day were wheat. So you put the taxes in here. This is a wheat storage area. The reason the door is so small is because only a child could get in there. So the reason only children are, were allowed was to stop thievery. Ah. So only a child could get in there and retrieve the really valuable wheat. Right. Also got an amazing artifact here, which is a recurve bow uh, invented by the Mongolians. Wow. This was a technology that made Mongolia take over everything. The harder bow shot, as well as we have the dungeon here, which is really special. Check this out. So you can see all these metal floors. Yvonne was walking on them and I'm walking on them. They were not here back in the day. The floor was way down there. And if you had to go to the dungeon, they'd open the door, they'd kick you through and you'd fall to the oh. ground. <laughs> so there was a rough entrance right to the dungeon. And you yeah. just fall. You just fall down to the ground. To the dungeon, yeah. So being a criminal Whoa. is always bad, but being a criminal back in the day, even worse. And this would be where the dungeon prisoners would hang out. And you'll notice every door is really short. This was because it's so cold in the winter. The uh, less air flow from room to room, the warmer the building would be. Mm -hmm. Also, they said for defense purposes, if anybody did sneak into the fort and they entered the room, they'd enter like this and you could cut their head off immediately. Wow. Which is pretty rough. <laughs> it's pretty wild. Oh. So uh, I will say our tour guide we came with was the best. Right. Really good, really full good. English, really engaging, really interesting, did a great job, and uh, he showed us everything. Yeah. We're doing it again. Next stop, we'll go to the kitchen. Let's go. Ooh. So, first things first in the kitchen. I found this to be the most interesting part. If you want to show, this is the mouse trap, hundreds of year old mouse trap. You can see the mouse would go in here and the door would shut. So this is pretty special. Obviously, <laughs> just like the old days, just like the new, in the kitchen, you don't want any mice. That's 
That's true. The other really interesting part is this is actually one of the oldest rooms that's still intact in the whole place. So if you come over here, you can see that the wood is all kind of rotted with this unique look. Um, it's because of all the smoke. They didn't have an exhaust going from the stove to the top, so the smoke would just fill the room. And they've like carbon dated this wood to be like 800 years old. So like all original, 800 years old, super amazing. You've also got this cold storage right here. This is a fridge because behind this, they figured out is the glacier. So they put the cold room on the back, put a wall there, the cold air, this would be the fridge. Oh. Pretty clever. 700 years ago, 800 years ago, they had a fridge kind of naturally. You actually feel it's cold. Yeah, it's it actually colder. is cold. It's cold out there. That's amazing. <laughs> there you have it. Oh, now, wow. hopefully, fingers crossed, Yvonne and I can get some of these wooden spoons. Yeah. These are traditional okay. wooden spoons of Hunza that uh, have been around for hundreds and hundreds of years. They look amazing. So, fingers crossed, we can buy some of those, send them home, and then in our house, when we get back to Canada, we'll have the Hunza wooden spoon. Nice. One. That'll be cool. Wow. Okay, from here, we're gonna go upstairs and get some really amazing views. Let's go. Ooh. Super incredible up here. Oh, the I mean, view. you've got the whole Hunza Valley over here. Right. You've got the mountain range, Karakoram behind us. So nice. This would be the royal throne. Big sign says, do not go on the royal throne. Obviously, respect. But super nice up here. I mean, soak in the view, right? Amazing. Wow. Also, now way in the distance, you can see Altid Fort, which is the original fort of the area. It's a couple hundred years older, maybe a little more. Seems funny that there's Altid Fort and Bolted Fort so close together, right? The story goes, the uh, king was ruling from Altid Fort and he had two sons and his sons had a disagreement. And one of his sons said, well, never mind you, I'll make my own fort. And so he built Bolted Fort. Sounds similar to my brother and I when we were kids, <laughs> except our fort was made from pillows. <laughs> But super great up here, That's right? Funny. Yeah. <laughs> wow. And you can see the idea of like the defense. Like imagine trying to conquer something. Up here, you're above everything. So everyone else is trying to get up, and you're just using that Mongolian uh, bow. Bow. Ooh. Potential landslide. landslide. Potential landslide. Scary. <laughs> but that Mongolian recurve bow, and you're just slinging arrows over the edge. Really incredible. Obviously, most things in here have been renovated. Yeah. Um, but the structure itself is original. They did some carbon dating. 700, 800 years old. I Amazing. would say, conservatively, this is a must-do if you're in Hunza. A must-do. I can't stress enough how good the tour guide was. Yeah. He was really engaging. He was funny. He had all the information, all my questions he could answer. Yeah. Um, slow and thorough. Cool stuff, Really, really man. good. And then we asked him, hey, can we go back in to make some video? Goes, yeah, okay, okay. Go ahead. So we came back around to make our video. Um, absolutely must-do. Five-star. Bolted fort. Great day we've had today. Awesome. Just incredible. There you have it, guys. I'm tired. I'm telling you, being up at high elevation, I get tired so easily. I can never catch my breath, you know? Well, it's all hilly. It's all hilly, and I'm just... Lots of stairs, too, in the, in the fort. I'm telling you, everything changes when you get 30, eh? Ooh. Yeah, there are <laughs> lots of cool rooms in the fort. Like the, the fort's incredible. bedroom, yeah. the music room. Yeah, yeah, We yep. saw, like, some really old maps, which is really Ooh, cool. There was a super old map that was actually written in Latin. Now, this is a copy of the original. But back then, the map looked totally different. They had no understanding of where stuff was. And they had uh, Jerusalem right in the center of the map. They thought that was, like, the right thing to do yeah. for religious reasons. And everything kind of came out from the center. They didn't, even, they didn't even know North America was around because it was 1300s when they made that map. Super, super cool. They yeah. have old Russian guns in there that they picked up in the 1800s. They have old Chinese money from the 1800s. They got all... It's, it's part fort, part palace, and part museum. Yeah, I would say it's a really must do. Cool. Really cool, really cool do. place. Yeah, wow, yeah. definitely recommend. Definitely and the recommend. view from up here. Come on, the look at this. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, don't miss Bolted Fort. I had wow. such a good time. You the guys know few, I love history. Yeah. But this is awesome. The view is great, but my favorite part, I gotta say, is the dungeon. <laughs> Crazy story, cool. right? Open the little door, duck your head, and you get kicked right through, and you fall down. Yeah. Probably break a bone, and now you're in jail with a broken bone. <laughs> cool, <laughs> wow. Man. Awesome. Yeah, really, really cool. Yes. Uh, five stars, must do, Baltic Fort. Yes. Thanks for watching our video, everybody. Tried to recreate the, the tour as best I could. Good job, Steve. Tour guide Steve for the day. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. See you tomorrow. Mission accomplished. Four spoons and two bowls for 3,000 rupees. Decent price. Four spoons. And, and on purpose, we got all slightly different spoons. Different color, different shape. Four unique spoons and two different bowls. Sold. Shukriya.
Many, many spoons. Many, many spoons. He says, take a picture here, take a picture. Okay, look. Wow. Pretty much so much in here. Big one, big one, small ones. Oh, big spoon! Oh, Ivana, here's a spoon for you. Look at this. Ivana, delicious, delicious one. Oh, for soup. This is for the man with the world's biggest mouth. Making for food. Ah, okay, okay, okay. For cultural food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Looks like a shovel. Yeah. Very nice. Look at all the collection. Nice, right? This is walnut one. Walnut. Ooh. For apricot wood. Apricot wood. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, well, uh, keep that keep that for this one. This one? Yeah. This is two thousand. Three thousand. It's a good price for something. Oh, walnut fork. wood. Fork. You wanna get a set of forks? Forks. Yeah. I think we gotta get some forks. Yeah. Right? You can't get spoons with no forks. That's true. Okay. <laughs> ah, awesome. Bum, bum, one that matches the color. Mm. Ooh. Okay. Oh, broken. Change show that. Yeah. Nice. Put it back. Hold on, nice color, this one. Cool, yeah, that one is nice, I like. One. 